All right, so standing in the garage today, this has already been replaced. Well, that hasn't been replaced. I took the whole thing apart and replaced the gear shaft in there and that's working okay. But I got a new problem, I got a busted spring. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna repair that. Ordered some new springs online and with any luck, I'll pop in a new spring there without killing myself. And also I'm gonna change out the wires up off of those drums and put some new wire in because these are bunching up and I'm scared that that's probably gonna snap on me. So we'll see what happens. Got an update here. So this bar, the torsion bar, I guess is what it's called. Got this old spring, the busted spring. Well, busted spring is about to come off. The new spring is on, but one of my problems that I had was uh, this bar, I had no clearance. Apparently they built this garage around the, <laughs> around the garage door. So I had a wise plan. I'll punch a hole through the wall and that'll give me enough clearance to slide the bar over so that I can put on the new springs. But that didn't work because there's a uh, stud right there too. So, and I think that might be a bearing, load bearing stud. So plan B, I had to go and uh, pop off the bracket, which I didn't want to do. So I marked it in yellow. I popped the bracket off. I was able to slide and I hardly have any clearance right here. Less than, a, less than a foot clearance to get that big old spring on there, but it worked. So now the next step is uh, pop that bracket off, pop the spring and pop off the uh, drum off. And I already got a new cable wired up. So maybe the next step I'll have everything zipped up and maybe it'll work. As you can see, it worked. I didn't, um, I didn't finish filming from the job last night. So this is the next day I woke up and went to work. <clears throat> so yeah, I uh, ended up replacing these two springs here. Um, they're in a lot, under a lot of tension. I had to wind that thing 31 times. And then um, you, gotta, you gotta be careful when you wind them. You gotta use the right bar, you gotta use the right equipment. But once you wind them, each time, then you gotta lock those little nuts on there. <clears throat> but everything is working. The cables, the new cables are working, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, I guess my next step is to uh, replace the, uh, you can see light coming underneath there, and that's, that's not good. So I'm gonna replace the uh, rubber stripping underneath the garage door, and I think then I'm done. After that, I've pretty much done everything you could possibly do with a garage door from mounting um, garage door, the openers to replacing panels to all that. And the one thing I always, these right here, this is the thing that's scary because that's a lot of tension. And if you don't do it right, um, that spring is going to shoot out or whatever it's on it. So like a wrench, you have to use a, an open wrench. You don't want to use any, you know, there's a bunch of videos of guys using sockets and everything else. And I'm thinking, well, shoot, if that spring goes and that socket's locked on there, then I got shrapnel going. So I used an open, open wrench and actually one of them, I snapped a wrench off. I snapped the head of a wrench off right over here because they had too much torque going on. So this little piece of crap snapped on me, but all in all, everything's good. Mom and dad still have my LL Bean radio. Anyways, love you guys. Bye.